This is very grown up. It is quite it, grown up. It's quite really steamy and mm. I think I described it as being of queasy moral complexity. Oh, I like that. Yes. That's an excellent description of it because it is, you know, it, it really is. What I like about it though is it's a woman who's in her 50s mm -hmm. who is beautiful and sexy and vibrant and... And playing the lead role in front and centre on... Exactly. On BBC Sunday Night. No, it is... Which is to be celebrated, I oh, think. Absolutely, it's really, of course. I, I feel incredibly fortunate to be the actress Shoot. doing that, but, um, you know, that's not... Not that's not the tale you get in Hollywood at all. No, not at all. That's the thing. Although I think things are changing. They are. I think they're definitely changing, and especially are. as more and more women are writing and directing and producing. Yes. That's, and they, they are getting older. That's. And the way we consume television, um, you know, sure. is, is becoming is changing a lot, and no. that's being very female driven. Um, sure. Which is great for women like me. Of course yeah. it is, of course it is, because yeah. you were 50 at the weekend, you don't look it. I, well, I... Yeah. You really, really don't. <laughs> Thank you very much. But That's an very awful lot of, of women who are in their 40s, 50s, 60s and beyond do, are taking better care of themselves and do, look, yeah. and do look fantastic and are having sex lives. And this is so good that this, you know, this drama is kind of affirming that and saying, yeah. you know what, it's OK. It's actually, you know, it feels like you're coming into the prime of your life in it a way is. because you've... You know, all the, I mean, like a lot of the really difficult things in life are yeah. behind you and you can celebrate yourself. No, oh, that's true. That's yeah. very true. Although I don't think a lot of us would be celebrating by, you know, having sex no. in, in sort of public places, which is kind of no. what this chap she's involved with has got this wee kink that that's yes. what he likes to do. Yes, it gets, and it gets very, very complicated. And, and it's like this incredible ride until it all goes horribly shaped and it's yes and it does start to get very very dark indeed yes. now was there any of the scenes where you thought to yourself i don't know if i can do that yes <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if i can show that i don't know if i want to go there was... i was very lucky in that um when i first read the script i i i mean i've been described in the past as a character actor who gets laid and then as you get older you get laid less and less and less and then it kind of stops <laughs> and then suddenly here was this script like Every third page was, <laughs> was like, okay. okay. Um, I went to meet the director, who's um, a wonderful woman called Jessica Hobbs, and I walked in and she said, I'm, four, I'm ten days... I'm um, sorry, I'm four days older than you are. Right. And we, sat, we immediately had this kinship of being women of a certain age facing all of this, and we did it together in a way that we, I felt we were completely on the same side. Um, and actually, the, the guy who plays my... Um, lover is Ben Chaplin, who's an actor, who's a wonderful actor, which yes. took a bit of guts to sit down with somebody and, <laughs> and do that. But so you put that there and then... <laughs> exactly, it was a bit like that. <laughs> but actually, you know, it, it then felt really secure and really like we, you know, we had a, we had a map and we, would, we knew what we were doing and it was actually really, I have to say, it, a bit of a laugh. Of course, of course it would yeah. be, because yeah. you're a grown-up woman and he's a grown-up man. Exactly. And, it, and, and it we've, become that. between us, we've clocked up many, many hours of, of screen sex in our careers. Indeed. Not together, <laughs> with various different... <laughs> with very so different other people. Yeah. So what about, because you've got kids, are, is there anything that you would think to yourself... But because, you, you know, they're going to see you in all of these amazing productions that you've been in over the years. There's, a, there's a shelf in my house that just says, for when I'm dead. <laughs> right. <laughs> And you can watch no, I'm them. joking. No, they're way too young now <laughs> to be... But it's your job. Exactly. It's your job and, and it's their reality. I mean, they've grown exactly. up with that. You know, yes. like, people grow up with their mums doing all sorts of different yes. jobs. So that's, that's what it's all about. Will your husband watch? Yes, maybe like me like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's, 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 it's absolutely brilliant. And you are such, you know, I was talking yesterday to um, Leslie Joseph and she's waving the flag for Oh, she's for amazing. She's Isn't it's she the amazing? energy thing. She's got yeah. so much energy and so much passion. But you've got exactly the same thing for the work that you do. I guess you know. that's it, that I do just love acting. I love, yeah. love, 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 love it. And, you know, there's never a day when I go to work when I don't pinch myself and feel... Wow, this I, I'm so lucky. So, Apple Tree Arts on Sunday, nine o'clock, BBC, BBC One. One, not to be missed. It is proper. It proper is quite. Um, it's really a psychological thriller. I no, think. It's good. Um, yeah, we've, we've mentioned we've we've kind of concentrated on the, the kind of sex aspect, yeah. but there's a lot more to it as well. Yeah, <laughs> it gets pretty. Um, it does get very dark. Does it? Yeah, very very dark. Thank you. If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe.